All right, folks, we've got a few things going on here. Golf has just been raised at the back. Um, I've put it on these planks here. Got a three on either side. What I'm doing is essentially having a look underneath, probably clean it up a bit. There's suspension, all the rotten wrong springs and all of that. So what I was going to do, I was going to jet wash this down. Uh, we'll get back to this in a second. The title of the video, though, is related to this car here. I'm going to get it straight out there. All right, people, so I hope you're good. Um, yeah, we're talking about selling the M2 today. I know it might come to a bit of a surprise for a lot of you guys, but hear me out, we are going to discuss it. Um, essentially, I want to have a bit more of a focus on project cars. And um, this thing here, I've had it nearly a year. If you're new to the channel or you've already been watching recently, this is my daily. Um, the GTI is kind of like the project thing. It is a stunning car, as you can see, all the lovely spec. I remember I did search around quite a bit for this particular car. Mineral grey, icon headlights, I've done all the carbon bits, so carbon mirror caps too, side skirts. It's mint car, about 6,000 miles on it. I did go for a drive during the week and I did film a little section which I'll add in after this. Um, explaining why I even am considering to sell the car. But yeah, the GTI is not going anywhere in case you know, you're a bit confused and you thought, oh, I'm getting rid of the project and I'm not finishing it. Nope, the GTI is not going anywhere until I'm done. I'm not going to become like a lot of these channels out there that don't follow through with something. Um, I know everyone buys and sells cars on YouTube, but that's not me. My reasons for this are very different to theirs. Um, the KO4 and everything is ready to go. Um, I've already showed you the parts in the previous video. So my only thing that's holding me back right now is I don't want to do the conversion here um the golf of course is ready to go um the parts are ready to go in fact i'll just show you guys now quickly my new little setup in my shed all right so here we go finally sorted a few shelves out m2 reg just had a spare one stuck here on the wall there i picked up one other thing as well so the rs4 fuel rail pressure valve so i mean this is yeah ready i've also got this here too um Mark 6R intercooler, one of my mates sorted me out with this. There's some confusion though, because this one's straight off a of Golf R, Mark 6. Some people are telling me the S38P has an aluminium end one, so I don't know. I mean, is this just is this still an upgrade to the GTI one, or is it the same? Just more confusion again. But here's the uh, bushing kit that I'm going to get put on. Uh, these are the anti-lift kits. So these are the main bushings of the front. Uh, the ones that are split on mine, so big shout out to Powerflex as well. As you can see, all those bits are ready. I decided against doing it here because, I'll be honest, I am quite a big lad, so I don't really want to get under the car in this limited tight space. And yeah, I just like to have a bit of room to work with, um, especially trying to line up the turbo and the manifold and everything. It might be a bit of a pain to do. I'm not going to lie, these project videos would be a lot more easy to do if I had my own little unit or space to do this sort of stuff because ramp access is really what's holding the videos back right now. Um, I'm finding it really hard to even find places that I can rent out. There's hardly any choice available. Um, stuff, if you do find a place, sometimes they don't allow car access. I only need space for maybe two, three cars. At least it gives me a bit of room to play with. Any future stuff, of course. But yeah, let me know anyway if you do know of any good units around. I'd love to make it into a little spot that we can, you know, have a nice backdrop for the videos. Maybe put a two-post lift in. Garage-wise, there are a few people who have offered to let me use their ramp, but it's sort of like I don't want to get in the way of their business, if you know what I mean, in case during the week they need to get jobs done. I don't want to be intruding too much. Um, in terms of topic for today's video, I actually was having a look at the engine bay. Two, two prongs on there. N55 um, engine cover. All completely stuck. There we go. Yeah, so inline six. I was just having a look at the layout, and yeah, the turbo is there on the side. It has a manifold built in as well, a bit similar to the um, GTI's one actually, which is quite cool. It's nice to look in an engine bay that hasn't got rust and brown. And see, so yeah, the downpipe is right there, so it's quite easy to change. But yeah, nothing's gonna happen with this car. But yeah, I thought I'd do this video for a lot of you guys who have been asking about the M2 content. I know my motivations have changed. I want to do these project things and I don't want to do them half assed I want to do them properly, like the KO4, the GTI. I'm gonna do the suspension properly. I'm not gonna hold back. But yeah, before we go on that driving the M2, uh, let's just jet wash the underside of the GTI down and just have a look at what's going on there. New style of ride height. You guys white coilovers, here you go. Load at the front, raise at the back. So the suspension you can ignore on the shock absorber because uh, the coilovers are on their way and that's gonna replace all of that. But I thought, rather than just putting them on quite a dirty underside of the car, let's at least clean it up because otherwise it's gonna look a bit weird. Mini jet washes out. Off Amazon, does the job. Got my uh, 
gun here these exhaust tips before anyone asks they're rusty and whatever so don't worry about them we're not gonna get metal polish out no real point so one of the other jobs during the week um, again once I've got the car up on a lift it'll probably be easier is to replace these bushings here and um, these ones here as you can see the ones that you can support the jack on um, they're very important so what I've gone for is the anti-lift kit which I showed you before um, in the shed um, we're gonna unbox them and all that good stuff in that video Right, so judging by the amount of mud that's now on the planks, there was a fair old bit of dirt under there. The main thing I'm looking at is this control arm here. Is the rust going to cause much of an issue or we just bolt in the new coilovers and we're all good to go? I uh, still have a fair bit of dirt in there as we can see. But the whole underside, um, when the car gets detailed I think then we'll look at it in more detail. Because some of these parts are going anyway like this horrible back box and the suspension. So that already sort of get rid of that issue stay tuned during the week for a lot more of the um you know important stuff and more exciting stuff um what we'll do i'll go for a little drive in that beast and explain my reasons for potentially selling one of the cars or so you already know we're talking about that one bridge time and cyclist <laughs> that will get old again Again. All right, that's probably the most it's gonna give. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I think we'll just um, head straight into the topic rather than dragging on the video. So, the main reason why I'm considering selling this car, um, nothing is certain yet. This is a discussion, so of course, I do want uh, some of the inputs and the comments about what your thoughts are in regards to what I'm thinking and yeah, if that even makes sense. But I mean, the GTI especially has just got me into the, all this like doing up cars and like fixing them up kind of thing and um, it is an area that I want to grow on the channel now by grow I mean not just put more money into the GTI the GTI's budget has already been allocated as in I've already got a plan in my head of what I'm gonna do that's irrespective of whether I sell this or not the way I would sort of take the channel further if I sold this car is I would it just give me more room to say get another build um, and then say just explore different types of cars like i don't know do a jap car build then do i don't know jap rally car style thing or like basically if you look at it from the perspective of say a lot of the us youtubers because that's where i get my influence from in terms of you know what i'm doing here they don't really do too many newer cars and that's kind of there's kind of a reason behind that because he's like what can you do really like there's a, you can remap it you can stick a hybrid turbo on it and that's it you're already working with a good car like an m2 is a lovely car as it is so it's not like you're gonna fully rewrite the history books doing it up and um oh yeah by the way give you guys some sound throb still works wheel spin look at the sound as well the m55 do you know what I, mean? I can't knock this car this is an awesome car all right n55 shove of torque definitely want to get a unit as well these things do cost a lot so I'd rather use my money there and just grow the channel and then maybe next year do get like a newer car again and um, yeah for the short term just not have like a modern car like this and just focus on like cheaper bows I know a lot of you guys enjoy that stuff more anyway so <laughs> that gear change man I haven't been out in a while so I'm kind of surprised man yeah guys i think that pretty much wraps this video up um we won't drag it on too long make sure you do drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it if you are new here make sure you do subscribe if you do like the content um there's a lot more to come this year um, some stuff you won't expect it as well i can guarantee you that and yeah just take care guys and i'll see you in the next video